Hey yo, I'm back like I never left. Forever fresh in the seven day. Them niggas do it for clout and for presidents. That's why I packed it up and took the severance. You know, never roll with an ego. Ego under the Pico. Hold up. Feet on, to feet on. The glowers, the knowers, the shiners, the showers, the non stagnant and the growers. It's the re emergence from behind the curtain. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boricua Don Dada coming at you on draft day because everybody knows my favorite sports is the NBA and NFL. So I'm going to drop this on you today so I can just enjoy the rest of my day. The only real New York Raptors fan in the entire world, that's me. So anyways, Ava Everett drops a bomb. Drop, I mean like literally in the hip hop world, this is walking in and, and dropping a mic, right? She sits there, she talks a shit, calls out the new featherweight champion, Delmi Exo. So I'm like, damn, I don't know if these girls had a prior beef. We do know Ava Everett is the first American-born WXW champion ever. WXW is in Germany. Salute to them. You know, like, I was a big fan of them when I knew Bad Bones was from there. He was in Impact Wrestling. But back to the ladies. So she sits there. She puts a bullseye, booyaka, on Del Miexo's back. Roll clip. Ava Everett has said it once and I'll say it again. I am a history maker. First ever American WXW Women's Champion. First American to do it twice. And then I brought the title to the US, defended it successfully for this first time, and I made this a recognized world championship. But actually, I have another world title in my sights. I don't know if you knew this, but Delmi Exo was in my first ever professional wrestling match. And if we're talking about history, and we're talking about Ava Everett being the most prolific WXW Women's Champion of all time, that means there's something I have to do. Because Delmi Exo is the MLW World Featherweight Champion. I want what you have, Delmi. So how about this? I challenge you for your title. And I'll even make it a little bit more enticing. I'll even put mine on the line. Title for title, Delmi. Because I'm the Y2 cutie and I've evolved into the Y2 undisputy. No one is taking this title away from me. But I am gonna take yours. Now, that's how you talk shit, right? The new featherweight champ, she barely gets to, to sit back and enjoy her winning the belt without already being called on. This is what happens when you become top of the food chain. She sits there, now all the girls want her because now she's that, she's her, like y'all young cats want to say, she is her. So now that bullseye on her back, come one, come all. That's how the game works. The only thing is Del Miexo has to put a bullseye on your chest now because if you think you're going to come for this, I'm going to run through you. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's got to be. We all know Del Miexo is that girl who can do that. Aver Everett is a hell of a champion. And she can easily, you know, shock the world and beat a Delmi Exo. You know, because she is that talented. Now, I, like I said, Delmi Exo, there's levels to this shit. And I'm not saying one is better than the other or whatever because I'm a fan of one and I like the other one. No. Every, ever since I've seen Delmi Exo, her game keeps rising, right? And she's been against really big name people. So you're like, damn, Ava Everett's going to have to pull out all the stops to knock her off, especially being on the run she's been on. Now, not taking nothing away because she's been on a hell of a run doing her thing too. So it all comes down to who do you think is going to execute the best? I'm not going to give you an answer because I think that would be utter bullshit if I come on here and tell you this is what it is. I'd rather y'all sit there in the comments and tell me who do you think is going to win this, right? It's a title for title. I mean, one of these girls is going to walk out with two straps. To me, that's dope. Have them both over the shoulders. I don't care if you tie them up or whatever. You buckle them. It looks pretty gangster. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm all for that. The only thing I do not want to see is if there's interference in this shit, right? Let it be a definitive winner. Otherwise, don't do this type of match. Give us that. At least respect the fans enough to do that. 
Show them a real match. Show them what some real shit is all about. And these girls can put it on. They could main event any show. That's the kind of talent they are. And that's the kind of match I think we're going to get. This also puts the featherweight division in such a better position than what we prior had. There was no real direction. It was just Taya versus whoever with no kind of substance behind any of it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all for it. Ava Everett calling her route. Del Miexo has to defend and become an and new again. And how crazy would that be in a short amount of time to hear and new featherweight champion Del Miexo and new WXW women's champion Del Miexo. Just saying, has a nice ring to it. Shots fired. But deuces.